When you think about creativity or creative people, you usually think of an artist or a musician or a painter. But in actuality, a creative person is someone who has a blank situation in front of them and they have to put their personal spin on it to resolve whatever is in front of them. I truly believe that now is the greatest time to be a creative person. Never before has there been more of an emphasis on being creative and being an individual. Technology has connected all of us. We send information back and forth and the world is shrinking. But we all know this. We've been, we've been doing this for almost 20 years. The internet is now part of our life. But the byproduct of all that is that individuality is rising. Now we can communicate with no filter. So we choose what we want to say and what's important to us and we connect with other people that find it important as well. For you, it could be comedy or politics or whatever it is. For me, it's art and music. But there's literally no distance now between putting out what we care about and finding out who cares about it. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm from New York City and uh, from my whole life, music and art have been my thing. I excelled at it as a kid and it was the identity that carried me through grade school and through high school. And uh, when it was time to graduate, my family being a Jewish family was like, okay, that was fun. You, you had your music and your art and now it's time to go get a job and live your life. And at the time, I, the concept of doing what you loved for a living seemed crazy. Like I would, that just seemed like madness. So I figured, let me find what could be a professional and a corporate job and connect the dots as closely as possible and I fell on advertising. So I studied advertising, I graduated, and then I moved to New York and I worked for, or I moved back to New York and I worked at uh, uh, Deutsch Advertising. And it was amazing, it really was. Like I got to work on super cool projects with great clients like Adidas and Snapple and I did stuff like, you know, we had our ads stamped along the beaches in New York and I designed a bottle, you know, it was a lot of fun. But while I was working there, I decided to work on music on the side. So I got into writing music for plays and DJing in New York, just, you know, on my off time. But having that duality, you know, going to work and then doing what I loved and then going to work, it kind of gave birth to a little voice inside my head. And the voice was like, you don't, you don't want to do this. You know, you, I don't know why that Jewish voice always keeps coming back. I have a Jewish grandmother in there. Anyway. I knew I didn't want to do this, so I had to follow that voice. And you know, that voice got louder and louder, and then I do what, yeah, did what most people with the voice in their head do. I packed up my stuff and I moved to Los Angeles. And uh, while I was there, I got a small apartment, I got some recording gear, and I got a laptop. And it was all super cheap. The laptop was like meant for a grade school kid. But it was, it was what I had and what I could afford. And it let me write music, but more important, it let me post it. So after working for months and months and months, I got some songs that I really believed in, and then I posted them online. And uh, this was back in 2007 when MySpace was the big thing. So I posted it, and not long after being up there, a music supervisor had contacted me and said, I'd like to use one of your songs in a big campaign. And that, you know, the deal went through, and in that moment, I realized two things. One, I was going to make the most money I've ever made in my life off a song I wrote in a tiny little apartment on you know, busted gear. And two, I could get paid to do what I loved. And it was just the most freeing thought ever. I just couldn't believe it. So fast forward to years later, that music supervisor is now my agent. And we've worked on countless projects. And I've never met him. I don't know what he looks like. It's unbelievable that the most, one of the most life-changing people in my life I met because I just took a chance through what I believed in out there and connected with someone who believed in me back. So really, it's, it was just unbelievable. And I mean, now I can connect with people differently. Now I'm, it's with Facebook and with Twitter. But the, the thought is the same. You do what you love, you put it out there, and you see who bites. Through Twitter, I've booked DJ gigs across the country and I've worked on multiple projects with people that I've never met, but because they saw something in what I was doing, they reached out. And it's just, it's an unbelievable amount of freedom when you can actually just do what you love. And it really goes for everything. It's not just music or art. It's something that you love and that you really believe in, and then you send it out there 
and then someone, it's crazy, it's a big world out there. Someone is gonna bite back. You don't know who it is, but someone will. And I, the technology I was using then versus now is also different. Like in my house now, I have a studio and it's a, you know, it's all the gear and it's very high, and high tech and professional. But while I'm here, I have a laptop, a MIDI keyboard and a hard drive and that's it. But with that little tiny setup, I have a full working studio now. While I'm here, I'm working on a, a project for Sony called the Harmonic 702, which I'm taking a local Las Vegas artist that's emerging, and then I'm remixing their music, we're giving it to Sony, and then Sony's gonna be putting it in all of their stores. And what's crazy, I've never met the artist either. The artist reached out to me, I liked what he was doing, I told Sony about them, and there it is. It's, it just, you know, it blows your mind when you realize that it's, we're this big. It's, it's, it's out of control. But look, you're gonna have a lot of people and they're creating and, and everyone's being an individual, but you have people now that say, well, now everybody's a musician or everybody's an artist. Everybody does everything. And it's true. Everybody does everything. And that's awesome. Because now there's no difference. Everyone has the same shot as everyone else. But what separates us is being us, who we are. That's now the new commodity. I could give a gifted photographer an iPhone and I can give just a regular person an iPhone and tell them to take the sh a photo of this exact same courtyard. One person, you're gonna see their soul. You're gonna feel the photo. The other person, it's just gonna be trees and people in chairs and that's it. But now that we've put the focus on who we really are, that's what's going to shine. And I, I truly believe that it's, a, it's the wild west of creativity. There's, there's no limit on any of us and what we can do and, and what we want. And as corny as it sounds, if you really believe in what you're doing, this is the greatest time ever to do it. So, thanks. <laughs>